Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of solving addition and subtraction problems. This is standard 3.4a in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 35 of the 2016 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and when you are finished, unpause it. Let's check our answers together. So we have a word problem, and you should notice immediately that we don't have any answer choices. We do not have A, B, C, or D, or F, G, H, or J to select from because this is what we call an open response problem. So the problem is this first part right up here. But then underneath it says record your answer and fill in the bubbles on your answer document. Be sure to use the correct place value. So we have to do two things here. First, we have to get the correct answer. Second, we have to bubble it in correctly because if we get the correct answer in our notes but then we bubble it in incorrectly we can still get the problem wrong so let's worry about getting it correct first addison started with 87 dollars in her bank account so i'm just going to put an 87 right here because that's what she's starting with we're going to do something with that 87 we're gonna add to it or we're going to subtract to it she put 213 dollars into her account so when you put money into your account, that is called a deposit. When you take money out of your account, that is called a withdrawal. But that's a deposit, which means we're going to add $213. And then another $137 this week. So this is still, she's still putting money in. She put in $213 last week and another $137 this week. So this put right here, this deposit, still goes with this. So she starts with $87. She deposits 213 last week, and then this week she deposits 137. What is the total amount Addison now has in her bank account? Well, this seems like it's a simple addition problem. 87 plus 213 plus 137. So let's add that up, and let's do it vertically here. Obviously, we're not going to try to add horizontally or sideways. So we got to line it up. Make sure that your 87 kind of sticks over to the side and that 213 and the 137, they stick out because we're using our place value here. And 87 doesn't go to the hundreds place. That's why there's nothing in that spot right there. So we'll just do a little bit of vertical addition. So looking for tens if possible, seven and three make 10 and another seven makes 17. And so 8, 1, and 1, that's going to be 10, and another 3 is 13. And I'll put that one right there. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I believe my answer is 437. Now, the problem with the, with the way that this uh, problem is written is there's no A, B, C, or D for me to check. If I did my work and I don't see 437, then I'm going to know that I might have done something wrong but we just have to trust our math here. But how would we bubble that in? So I'm not going to draw the entire bubble sheet, but this is what it looks like on the third grade test. You're going to end up with four columns. And they're going to make it look like this. And in this fourth column right here, they're going to put a decimal point. You're not going to add any decimals like the uh, tenths or one hundredths, but that means this is the ones place, this is the tens place, and this is the hundreds place. And so we have to make sure we line this up with proper place value. It gets a little bit more difficult in fifth grade and fourth grade because they actually add decimal places behind the decimal, and you have to worry about your tenths and your one hundredths. So you can write your number in up here, 437, but these answer documents are scored by a machine and they're not really reading the numbers up here. Actually, what they're reading is your bubbles down here. So you've got uh, numbers from 0 all the way down to 9 in each of these columns. So you, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to find the number. And that bubbles in the 4 and the 3 and the 7. And you have to bubble them incorrectly. When you bubble them incorrectly, that is what the computer reads. And that's how they know that you wrote 437. So always make sure your bubbles or within the circle, nice and neat, and you cover it completely, and then you will be good to go with 437. 